people are angry with Thames for winning the BET's Best Gospel slash inspirational award. Oh my god. See, in the midst of Kirk Franklin, CC Winans, Maverick City Music. Okay, okay, that, that's quite a thick category. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. Wait, so you're telling me Thames won? How? <laughs> wait, wait, I, I don't. I, I, let, let me take a look at it. Let me take a look at it again. Oh, <laughs> BT, you clever son of a- Okay, okay, I get your plight. I get all of your plight, especially the Christians. This award category is quite confusing, I understand. But hear me out, hear me out. So to all the people who are a little lost, well, the BT award show happened. And this happened. It seems that Thames won the best gospel slash inspirational award category. And uh, people had a lot to say. Fair enough. And one of them was my favorite, Daniel Regan. <laughs> Thames winning the gospel award is a mockery to the Christian community. A secular artist winning in the gospel category? That's insulting. <laughs> to be completely fair, I get where Daniel Rega is coming from. I ain't gonna sit on my high horse and say, hey, and defend Thames by hard no ignorant. No, no. I am a Christian myself, so I get it. So now let's go to the genesis of the issue. The problem I have here is I don't know what BET is trying to do, to, to be completely honest. Like why don't you make it separate? Best inspirational artist, best gospel art. Is that hard to do? I, I mean it doesn't hurt anyone, you get me? At least two people will be happy that night. And this will stop all this like Christians outrage and all those things. Except, except they want a reaction. Yes. And Thames is the perfect Fit. Now hear me out, if the award show is given to a gospel artist, that news will end that same night. Hmm? I'll be like, oh, I want to thank God and blah, that's it. <laughs> but because it's given to an Afrobeat artist, it's going to generate new conversations. Conversations like, is Christianity being mocked or washed down? Uh, who is Thames to come over Kirk Franklin and CC Winans and the likes of who, who is she? This will send a lot of reactions to the African market, which we know is their new targets now. Why? Because Africa is the most religious continent in the world. I mean, so it's kind of like the perfect weather for the storm. But one thing we're forgetting is that it is not just called the Best Gospel Slash Inspirational Award. No, it's called the Bobby Jones Best Gospel Slash Inspirational Award. So the question we need to ask ourselves right now is that who is Bobby Jones? I asked Chad GPT and we're getting this. The BT Awards Dr. Bobby Jones Best Gospel Slash Inspirational Award is named in honor of Dr. Bobby Jones, a pioneering figure in gospel music. Dr. Jones is known for his significant contributions to the genre through his long-running television show, which aired on BET, the show which began in 1980 and ran for over three decades, provided a national platform for gospel artists and helped to popularize gospel music. By naming the award after Dr. Bobby Jones, BET recognizes his impact on the gospel music industry and honors his legacy of promoting and celebrating gospel music. This award is given annually to artists who have made outstanding contributions to gospel and inspirational music. So Bobby Jones was a gospel music promoter. Hmm. Uh, why was it given to Thames and, and which, which one did they select? Me and you, you say, ah. You know what, let's look at the lyrics then. <laughs> you, you, hmm, yeah. This is my decision, decision. This is my decision. I don't think you listen, you listen. I don't think you listen. For me to come out, it means I'm at the door. It must mean I'm not the same. It must mean I'm on your case. This seems like a war to me. For me to come out, it means I'm at the door. I want to show you my well. Mm. Okay, okay, so I think this is where they considered it as inspirational. <laughs> what? Give me one break. I need faith. Faith to believe you, faith to receive you. Give me something I'm lacking. I don't need nothing. You are my everything. Oh, what is she talking about? Huh. So the person that Thames was talking to was uh, God, uh, I guess, uh, or maybe her lover, uh, or maybe. Hey, 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 hey. I mean, hey, I mean, that's the best explanation I can give about this thing right now. Hey, Thames, I mean, don't come for me. Nah, do you, do do you. Only me and you, only me and you, only me and you. You, you get the gist. Thames, you know what? I'm not going to tell my audience. But the only two people who know why you got the award is... Only me and... So now the main question is, is Christianity being washed down? Yes, of course. I mean, it has always been. I don't blame Thames here. No, she hasn't done anything wrong. I blame the BET. I mean, you know what? Peep this. I googled the category name and I got this. The BT Awards Dr. Bobby Jones Best Gospel Inspirational Award is given to an urban contemporary gospel artist. 
urban contemporary. The winner is determined based on sales and overall quality of content released within an eligibility period. The award was originally titled Best Gospel Artist, but was later renamed to its current title in 2017. 2017? was a bad year for gospel artists i guess that was the time they added the inspirational to the gospel award Kate franklin currently holds the record for this category with six wins i mean why did they add the inspirational to the gospel award what are they trying to do exactly so now it gives a leeway for anybody to win i mean anybody she just needs to sing some inspirational award and <laughs> <laughs> you can stick it through my hole, but the only hole is. <laughs> you know, all well, this means that gospel artists to wash down their lyrics to to suit BET. I mean, if you want uh, worldly recognition, yeah. <laughs> well, I love them, you know. So I, I'm mad, you know. I'm mad. Go, girl. How do you girls do? Go. Well, my final thoughts. Come on, BT man. You guys know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Come on, man. This ain't right, man. Hey, 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 hey. To be honest and to be fair, I haven't watched the whole BT award show yet, so there might be some few things I might have missed. It's all good. Why you answering then? Come here, let me smack it again. I heard you. Well, I guess I didn't miss much. Well, I would do that this evening. But hey, hey, with what I've seen so far and what I've heard up. This, this ain't right, this ain't fair. I mean, I think Dems herself knows this. Yeah, I got to say. But regardless, regardless, I love Dems, you know, I love them. BET changed the name of the award from Best Gospel Artist to Best Gospel Inspirational Artist to reflect a broader scope of the genre and to include a wider range of artists. This change acknowledges that inspirational music can encompass a variety of styles and messages that may not fit strictly within the traditional gospel category. By including inspirational in the award title, BET aims to recognize and celebrate artists whose music inspires and uplifts, regardless of whether it fits into conventional gospel music music definitions. This allows the award to honor a more diverse group of musicians who contribute to the inspirational and uplifting themes in music. The response from the Christian community to the BET Awards, changing the name from Best Gospel Artist to Best Gospel Inspirational Artist, has been mixed. Some Christians appreciated the broader inclusivity, however others in the Christian community were concerned that the change might dilute the focus on traditional gospel music. Anyways, congrats to Tens for winning the award and making God and Nigeria proud. Such a good girl. Such a good girl.